This tutorial is going to cover creating a devise uh, confirm your account system. Uh, we're going to be doing that by using Mailcatcher. So this is just going to require you to grab the uh, Mailcatcher gem and just install the gem globally on your machine, which is what we're using for development. Uh, obviously on production, you'll want to switch over to your own uh, mail SMTP service. But for this, we're just going to be using Mailcatcher because it allows you to set up a uh, small server. And then when you request your email confirmation, it gets caught by this and it allows you to uh, accept your user registration from inside of this fake little email inbox. So you can see what your user, what your user would be getting. So after you install your Mailcatcher gem, you'll also then want to start the Mailcatcher service. Now I think I already have mine running, uh, but I can run it again. Yeah, it looks like I already have it running. Okay, so I just stopped it and now I should be good to run Mailcatcher. So you'll, you should see something like this in your console. If you do, you should be good to go. And then you can visit localhost port uh, 1080, which is this one, and it should give you your mail catcher interface. Once you have that, we can go ahead and we can add device. So I'll just say bundle add device. Then I'll say bundle install. Then I'll say rails g device colon install. Let me full screen this and bump it up a bit. So do this to install device just like we normally do. And then we'll say rails g device user to install or to create our users. Uh, and then it'll tell us the right here for step one, it tells you to set the uh, default action mailer URL. Uh, and the rest of this is just general stuff that you normally see. So what we can do is we can head over to, uh, well, I guess first let's go into our migration before we do that. So for our migration, we'll come into DB migrate and we'll look at the user migration. And the things we want to do is uncomment the stuff under confirmable. So let me just take this, uncomment it. Uh, you can uncomment this if you would like, you don't need to. Uh, and then we can also uncomment down here, uh, the index for the confirmation token. Once we have that done, we can run a rails db colon migrate command and we can come over into our app models and our user model. And then we'll just do a comma and then we'll say uh, confirmable. And we can save that. Once we've done that, we then want to come into our config and our initializers and our device.rb. And here we want to do two things. One, we want to fix uh, turbo so we can actually log in and log out properly without it breaking. And for that, we just need to add in this little snippet that adds a navigational format for TurboStream. So that'll fix that. And the other thing we can do, uh, but I'll do it in a minute. You can change the mailer sender to be your, you, your email address and it'll show up as that being the from address. I'm not gonna do that right now because I, wanna, I want you to see this first so you can sort of connect the dots, but uh, we'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, the other thing we can do is we can come over to our application uh, layout. So say, where is it? Views uh, application.html.erb. And I'll just paste in some alerts and notices real quick. Uh, just really basic stuff to see uh, or to get some sort of feedback when we log in and we log out. Let's then do a Rails G controller pages home. I'll full screen this so you can see it. And that's just because we want to have a home page that we can work with real quick. So let's come over to our config and our routes.rb. And in here, let's change this get to a root. And then let's change this slash to a hash. And we can run a Rails, uh, I don't know if we did a migrate, let's just do it again, a Rails db colon migrate, and then a Rails s to start the server. And then let me refresh and uh, come over to the home page. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the home page on my other monitor and I'm just going to paste in the uh, the code for the device login. So come over to views, pages, home, and we're just going to do something simple uh, where we say uh, if current user, then link to sign out, destroy user session path and give it a data turbo method of delete else uh, you're not signed in and then you want to link to the sign up page which is the new user registration path or link to the login uh, page so we'll do that we'll save and then we'll refresh and we should now be good to sign up so i'm gonna go ahead and sign up as dean at example.com with a password of password and then i'll hit sign up and we'll get an error here 
tells us we're missing host to link to. Please provide the host parameter, set default URL options, or uh, set the only path to true. So that's telling us that something is up with our uh, configuration in our development environment. So we'll come down here to config environments develop environment, and uh, we'll just full screen this real quick. There's a couple of things we want to add. I'm just going to add them below this consider all local requests. So I'll just say devise tutorial section, and then I'll put some more down here just so we can sort of break off what we're working with. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to say config dot action underscore mailer dot default underscore URL underscore options equals and some braces. And we want to say the host is localhost, but we want it to be port 3000. So that will fix the error we're getting here with uh, needing to set the default URL options. We can then also do some stuff like we can say config uh, dot action underscore mailer delivery method and set it to SMTP. I don't actually know if this is anywhere else in this file, but I'm just going to be uh, listing out what I what I changed to make this work. Uh, so it might already be in here and you can just go find it somewhere else. But for the sake of this tutorial, we'll just be looking at this block. The next thing I want to do is the config dot action mailer dot SMTP settings. And for this, we want the address. Here it's suggesting uh, smtp.gmail.com. So I guess that's how you would set up a production server for Gmail. And it looks like it would be port 587 and the domain would be Gmail. But uh, GitHub Copilot thinks we're deploying to a Google server, which we're not. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to say the address is going to be, uh, what is it, 127.0.0.1. And then the port is going to be 1025. We can actually comment this if we like, and we can just say this is the SMTP settings for mail catcher gem. So that just is the thing that points us to the actual uh, mail catcher server, because remember, we have two parts to it. There's the uh, HTML that we're looking at right here. And if I scroll up far enough, maybe, uh, what we had up here we had the HTTP server right here at 1080, and we also have the SMTP server at 1025. We want the uh, SMTP settings to be 1025, and we want the default URL options to just be our localhost port 3000. And then we can visit this just to go see where these things are being sent to. Uh, the last thing we can do is we can just say config dot raise delivery errors, and we can set this to false. Or you can set it to true, I think, for better debugging purposes. Uh, but I'm not going to be debugging this or testing this. I'm just going to be using it real quick for the sake of the demo. So now I'm going to start the server. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to refresh the page. Uh, and I'm not sure if that worked, so let's check. I'm going to say I didn't receive anything, just in case it did sign me up and uh, it just didn't go through. So I'm going to say dnatexample.com, and I'm going to say resend the confirmation instructions. Now, it looks like it did send it. If we look at, oops, if we look at the terminal here, uh, device, mail, device mailer confirmation instructions, processed outbound mail. Uh, and it looks like it did send it. Here's where it says, please change me at config initializers device at example.com. And it also has that listed as the uh, reply email. Uh, I did go out to my email and then it just has, you know, the basic template here. And we can take a look at that in a second. But if I come over to the mail catcher gem and I refresh, it looks like I did get that email. So let me click on it and it says, welcome, dean at example.com. You can confirm your account through the link below. So I'm not going to click this. I'm actually going to come back here and I'm going to try to log in. Say dean at example.com with a password of password. And if I try, it'll then tell me you have to confirm your email address before continuing. But if I click on this link and I click confirm my account, it'll tell me your email address has been successfully confirmed. And now if I try to log in with a password of password, uh, it tells me I signed in successfully. So you can see there that's sort of how the system works, at least as far as testing your confirmation emails. And it's actually just that simple. Uh, but of course, we would want to, in a production server, you know, set the from email address at the very least. So to do that, let's come back over to our config and our initializers and our device.rb. And in here, we just want to below the, or actually right here, we can just grab this for the config mail sender. 
let's just change this to dean at example.com. Now let's come over to our application and I'm gonna sign out. I'm gonna click sign up and I'm gonna say, uh, I want to log in as, I don't know, test at case.com with a password of password. So I'm gonna click sign up. A message with a confirmation link has been sent to your email address. Please follow the link to activate your account. Okay, I'll come over here. And we're still getting the same email because I think I forgot to restart the server. I'm gonna create a new account now. I'm gonna say john at doe.com with a password of password. And I'm going to try this again. And this time the from is set to dean at example.com to john at doe.com. So you do have to restart your server between that. Uh, I would probably restart my server between most of these changes, but that's gonna do it for me. If this video was helpful, I do have a video covering how to create device user roles, like a basic user, moderator, and an admin. Uh, and if that's interesting to you, you can find that video on the screen right now.